Nerds, before I play the video, I will give a joke. What do you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? <laughs> think, think. My ass. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic, time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Okay nerds, in this video we will be discussing and I'll also be showing you how to install the latest and greatest of the Weta ROM, Weta ROM 4.9.1. If you guys already know how to do the installation process, you can simply fast forward to the 4 minute mark. But for those of you who don't know, continue watching the video. And the link will pretty much be in the description below. It will send you to this URL here, wait around 4.9.1. Let's just scroll down a little bit. If you're on the T-Mobile version, you just pretty much you just pretty much want to download this very one at the top here. And if you're using Verizon, just download the one that says Verizon. Now, if you're using AT&T Sprint, the unlocked version, international version, download the US 9996 version to the LG V20. I already have it downloaded, so I won't be downloading it again. Once the download is complete, we just want to go to recovery. To get to recovery, please download the quick reboot application. There you will see the option to go to recovery. Just click on that and then we are going to recovery. Once we are in recovery, all you want to do is wipe and do a factory reset. And after the factory reset is complete, we go back, advanced wipe, wipe Dalvik cache and cache, my best practice. Once that's done, we're just going to go, into, go, go back to the main menu. Then we're going to click on install. Once we're here, we're just going to look for the ROM. Let's see, where the hell that shit is at? Where the ROM 4.9.1? Okay, where the hell is it at? Uh, okay, I found it. Then just swipe to flash. Just wait a few seconds. Right, now you'll see this whole amazing cute GUI populate. All you have to do from here, just click on the next tab at the bottom. And then from here, choose whichever phone you're on. Again, if you're on the AT&T Sprint or the Unlock version, select the first option at the top. If you're on Verizon, choose number 2, T-Mobile, number 3. My recommendation is flash stock kernel. Leave everything as default as how it is here. That's just my recommendation. It looks good. So I'll just leave everything how it is right here. Then click on next. And now here, just pretty much install whatever the hell you want to install for audio. I think I'm going to go wow with the audio. I want to test some of these audio applications out so I'm just gonna install a lot of them let's see what, what else we got here okay I'm not gonna install the last one that last one looks dangerous <laughs> and then from here you can install either one of these sound engine I'll just choose the weather audio since we're using the weather ROM and here as well I think I'll just choose the V4A and then you can choose what type of Atmos you want Dolby Atmos or Dolby Atmos DAP 6.5 I'll stick with the 2.3 and then here you have some extra options. I'll just install the Weather Reboot. Let's just... Okay, install that. Uh, no, I don't need Google Daydream VR. Okay, I just install all of that. You install what you want to do. Then after you click install. And once the installation is complete, just click on the next tab below to the right. Then click on finish. Uh, then from here, you just swipe to unlock. Then wipe cache. That's my best practice. After you're finished doing that, just click on reboot. Okay, nerds, and the problem that I encounter during the whole installation, I got stuck on the static screen. If you're stuck on the static screen, my first recommendation is just simply remove the battery for your LG V20. It's a little bit harder for me since I'm using a zero lemon case. <laughs> but yeah, just remove the battery after you remove the battery. Um, pretty much all you want to do, just power back on the phone. And after you power back on the phone, um, this is what you want to do again. Once you see the static screen, just press the power button at the back. And it will blank out everything but the second screen. Then you just put your hand over the IR to the right side of the front camera until the static screen goes away. Then click on the power button and you will be good. So pretty much now that the ROM has finished install, so far as usual from where the ROMs, if you're familiar with where the ROMs, everything pretty much moves as how you expect it to move. It just moves amazing, it's fast, a seamless experience. Here as you saw I had the pixel dialer and here's the extra features that I installed right here. We got some UI mods, 
all type of extra tweaks and perks right here. I will go over them in an overview video of this Wetheram 4.9.1, but so far it has some amazing changes as you saw there. We have the 3 Mint, everything is working better, they fix a lot of the bugs that we used to have. Prior we did have a Bluetooth bug where for certain devices the Bluetooth had issue where it just won't stay connected, but that is gone, so I just thought I'd let you guys know that as well. And in addition to that, everything just moves faster. Once you download the ROM, you'll see what I mean. Everything just moves faster. The Bluetooth is fixed. They add a lot of extra tweaks. It's more like more software tweaks to make the ROM run a lot more stable. So I definitely appreciate them doing that. And of course, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel. And have yourself an awesome day. And I love you guys. Fight!